This video is proudly sponsored by Newtype. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewtypeHQ.com and use the link below to help this channel out for future builds. Hey, what's going on my dudes and dudettes and welcome back to another exciting build from the good folks from Bendai Japan. So why don't we get started with the 1100 scale Master Grade XXG01 SR2 Gundam Senrock Custom EW from the feature length film Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. And without further ado, let's get to it. Welcome back my dudes and dudettes to another unique build from the good folks from Bandai. And if this is your first time to this YouTube channel, welcome. So we are literally down to the last three, the last three Mamma Jammas of the Endless Waltz Gundam series. And thus, my dudes and dudes, we're going to be tackling the ever so popular Sandrock Custom EW. Now, with the EW box art, there's nothing too crazy as you would expect for a P. Bendai model presentation. But he is backed up with his two singers with Death Sly on the left and followed by Heavy Arms on the right. So I love the little attention to detail they add on to this guy. As you can see here, the box art doesn't have any crazy like promotional gear. It is pretty much what you expect for a P. Bendai model kit. So, what can expect inside the box? As always, you are happy to agree with the instruction manual with a beautiful illustration of the Sanrock Mobile Suit Gundam in the forefront. Now, for the instruction manual, there's nothing too crazy, but the most unique thing about this mobile suit is the weapon accessories. You got the beam machine gun, the shield, the ever so popular heat shatils, and the most uniquely designed cloak for a mobile suit called the anti-beam cloak cape. I've never done this before in a mobile suit, but this one actually is designed in a way where it actually works for a Master Grade mobile suit. And I love the attention to detail what they were able to implement for this mobile suit. And as you can see here on the illustration, it's actually possible to put them in a very simplistic action pose, but nothing too crazy to the top where it actually will damage it. And to wrap things up in a nice little bow, we get a complete guide to how to apply the water slide decos on this unique mobile suit, followed by the very bottom, a complete spread of color choices, how to custom paint this mobile suit if you choose to do so. But I like this little attention to detail with the camera module color setup. If you don't want to make the camera module orange, you can go with green. If you don't want to go with green, you can go with orange. So it's nice to see that this instruction menu is giving you options if you want to go a different route or you want to go for a route that you would see in the feature line film. Love that attention to detail. Followed by the first runners, you can get a beautiful spread of the water slide decals, which I absolutely love. Followed by this beautifully sculpted antique cloak cape, which I love the attention to detail. Followed by the next runners, we're going to get these nice soft purples for key areas, a handful of poly caps, these unique like metallic gray brown pieces for the shoulder pads, a small assortment of white runners, and to wrap things up in a nice little bow, we're going to get a small slew of gray runners, small selection of red runners, and a very very small selection of clear pieces. So we get the classic clear pieces for the eyes and the camera module, but the other clear runners is a little bit of a mystery. So I'll probably figure that out once I'm done with this recording. A small selection of sticker decals, which are gonna be used for the eyes, camera module, and other key areas. Beautifully sculpted blades that are gonna be attached for the weapon accessories, more gray pieces, more purple pieces. A very, very broad selection of yellow pieces for the shield and other key areas. More white runners, more like purple pieces. You also get a hefty amount of gray runners followed by a handful full of sea blue pieces for the feet and probably the most unique thing I like about this mobile suit is the hands. They're not the classic gray molds. They are actually white and I love that separation between the other particular mobile suits. I think the only one they had close to this kind of color scheme was Wing Gundam Zero. You also get two little figurines of Catra both inside the cockpit and outside. More gray pieces for the weapon accessories, more of the cloak, followed by more gray pieces for the mobile suit for the inner frame. So, pretty much as straightforward what you expect from all the other mobile suits. It's nothing too crazy, while at the same time, it is very, very exciting to get started on working on something different, at the same time, something that's drastically impressive. So as always, before I get started building this mobile suit, I need to evaluate which areas I need to put all my attention on. Logically, it makes sense to tackle the legs and arms first because they require the most when it comes to repetitive runners. So I'm gonna be focusing on those first and then work my way up to the torso. Now for the white runners, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna be putting on my classic pre-shading technique on each areas, but this time around, I'm gonna hit certain key white areas to give a nice soft white grayish texture to make it really pop out. We can go to the other side Your dreams can come alive Come alive, come on We can fall back, we can move Back into the dark With ashes in our hearts In our hearts, in our hearts Hear our hearts Feel the willpower Hear our voices Call Don't look your love Down the lane and move around 
all in your feelings I've been all in them trenches No, they notice me flexing All right, we finally reached the part of the mobile suit that I'm actually super excited to work on, and that is the actual blades for this mobile suit. Now, the gray on here aren't that bad, but I want to add a little bit more of a custom flair to it, so I'm gonna give it a nice metallic silver to make it really pop out. And as for the cloak, I'm gonna add a little bit more of appreciating in certain key areas to make it really give a nice depth and feel to it.
right, my dudes and dudettes, as this video is wrapping up, I want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this mode. So, so first and foremost, I'm just going to honestly tell you guys, this kit is not difficult to put together. The inner frame is almost identical to the DefSci mobile suit and little hints of heavy arms imp implemented into it. I, I, I think that's great. You know, there is a familiarity to it at the same time. When you get used to that particular interframe design, the next build becomes easier and easier as you tend to add into your collection. So I, I like that, and I think that's really cool. But probably by far the most memorable thing about this mobile suit, and probably that's very memorable with the other Endless Waltz kits that I've built, is the color choices. You know, you have Desai with two different tones of grays and, and browns and blacks, a little hint of of uh, purple and then you had the master grade heavy arms with the turquoise blue and sea blue pieces and a little hint of white to make areas really stand out and then you got San Rock. He is drastically different design wise and color wise for a particular mobile suit. The purples, the reds, the whites and the little hints of grays work beautifully with one another. Nothing is at all overpowering it. On top of that, the design choice with what I believe went for like a Roman warrior kind of vibe. Me personally kind of reminds me of Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy, but I digress. I, I like that attention to detail. It's cool. And as you're constructing this mobile suit, you start to understand that there's a lot of love and care to win to making this guy. On top of that, someone thought really, really, really hard that I need to make this a particular purple that isn't too um, I guess you can say flamboyant, while at the same time any, isn't anything that's like soft, dull, or boring. You know, there's a nice, there's a nice little middle ground you have to really find that works for this particular mobile suit. Now, the, the purple that came with this suit was fine, but I wanted a little bit more of a vibrancy to it to make things really pop out, and I felt that the purple I chose to work with actually delivers. So, overall, I, I mean, I really like this kit. On top of that, for something that has like a lot of tight-knit areas, uh, I hate to bring it to you, my dudes and dudettes, you're going to get a lot of paint scraping and chipping, especially around the skirt, but more importantly, around the ankles. It's designed in a way where it the parts are so close to one another, it's not going to be a problem if you're not going to paint this model kit, but for someone that loves to paint their model kits and add a little bit more of a custom flair, you're going to notice the paint chipping and scraping so hard, it's going to make you do the Jean-Luc Picard face palm. No joke. It will make you feel defeated. But you can cover that up if you're doing like a paint chipping effect, or you can just repaint it and just be mindful of the fact that there are limitations to what you can do for dynamic poses if you choose to do a custom paint job. So there's that. Now it comes down to the burning question, is it worth the purchase? And I'm happy to inform you guys, it's worth the purchase. It is around $150 to $160, depending on reputable sellers on Amazon or on eBay. Um, but if you don't want to go with this color scheme, there's other variants out there of Sand Rock that I have seen online that look really good. But if you want something that's part of the Endless Waltz universe and add a little bit more custom flair with that awesome cloak, mm, you will not be disappointed. I promise you that. <laughs> and with that being said, thank you dudes and dudes for watching this video. Big thank you to the new subscribers that came in last week. You guys are phenomenal. But we gotta get a lot of love and respect to the patrons because these dudes and dudes are responsible for these videos to be available on this YouTube channel. So I'm ever so grateful for your guys' continuing support. And until then, I will see you dudes and dudes on the next build. As I'm running the corners Waiting for the wave to take me across all the board